Hello and welcome to ISTV English News. I'm Gabby Golme. Here the headline. All India pre-medical test and pre-dental test held in Manipur too. Latecomer candidates not allowed to enter examination hall. Now the news in detail. The All India Pre-Medical Test and Pre-Dental Test that have been postponed several times following an order of the Supreme Court were conducted today at different centres in Manipur too. Since many among 780 candidates who were to appear in the test at one of the centres, Kendra Vidyalaya at Lampelpad, arrived late, they were not allowed to enter the examination halls. They had to go back quite disappointed along with their parents. Candidates who came late along with their guardians tried to break open the gate a little after 9.30 a.m. As the situation threatened to get out of control, a large team of Lumpel police station rushed there and brought the situation under control. The students and their guardians were driven away far from the school gate. Earlier, those students who came in time for the test were physically checked. As per rules, no male candidate can grow long hair. Male or female candidates cannot wear jewelry such as necklace, earrings, etc. All candidates were instructed to remove such jewelry and only after that they were allowed to enter the examination halls under close scrutiny of observers. Guardians of candidates who missed the test told ISTV News that as they had to come far off places, besides having to pass through traffic snarls on the road, they were late. <laughs> เดี๋ยวมาเลยเนาะตอนที่มันไม่ทันกันเนี่ยเอาสิอย่างนี้อย่างนี้ <laughs> Vehicles loaded with goods which are frequently parked on both left and right sides of the road leading to the Chamber of Commerce, Medical Care and Research Centre, Thangal Bazaar have posed a major obstacle to the patient parties, doctors and nurses of the centre. Sengmaizing Gram Panchayat Level Multipurpose Cooperative Society Limited has appealed to the authorities concerned to look into the matter as soon as possible. Kongba Uchekon Laikon Lampak Apunba Meira Paibilub took out a procession from Uchekon to Kongba Market demanding implementation of ILP system in Manipur to complete the drafting of the new bill as soon as possible and also to punish the police personnel responsible for the killing of a student. Various slogans were shouted during the procession. <laughs> Biramungal College Students' Union has expressed deepest sorrow over the death of Sapam Robin Hood. The union appealed to the government to act according to the wishes of the people and further demanded punishment of the police personnel responsible for the killing of the student. Southeast Asia Cultural Organization has congratulated Professor Gangumai Kame on being appointed as a member of the NEC. Due to inundation of about 150 acres of paddy fields of Ishiro Lokon, Maning Sarangpokpi Lokon, Awang Nandabi Lokon, and Ningthemcha Lokon under Kundrakpam Gram Panchayat, the paddy saplings are on the verge of total destruction. 
Kundrakpam Gram Panchayat has appealed to the authorities' concern to look into the matter. Now let's take a short commercial break. We'll be back. I'm ready. Tell her row. Any time can I take? Some say it was it pretty perfectly straight. Ado kangkar kanda di freezy. Relax. Perfectly straight. Aina say me ano bosan si perfectly straight with straight lock technology maramdi. Some kangkar ba matung dasu align straight o ina line bagi dama. Wow. Hujik su straight o ina. Straight and gorgeous. Sunsil perfect straight lock to view rock to view. Committee for Justice and Release of Rahul Moirangtham has said at a press meet held at the Press Club of India yesterday that the student from Manipur, Rahul Moirangtham, is not connected with the theft that occurred at Holy Child Auxilium School, Vasan Vihar, and the act of vandalism at the church beside the school in whatsoever manner. It may be mentioned that Rahul Mirangtem was accused of committing the theft and vandalism which took place in February this year. The members of the committee, social activists of Northeast, students and family members of Rahul attended the press meet. The speakers stated that Rahul is innocent and a Christian believer. Accusing him of such a disgraceful act is out of the question. There are detail Mera Paibi blocked the Imphal Jiribam Highway at Tera Laukwakpam Lekai and staged a sit-in protest demanding implementation of ILP system in Manipur and drafting of a new bill accepted by the people. The members of Lakshmi Serial Marup Development Organization Konghampad and Lakshmi Micro Investor Konghampad have extended financial assistance to the family of late Sapam Robin Hood. The members also extended financial assistance to Haubijam Rishom who sustained injury in the movement for ILP and is currently undergoing treatment at Reims Hospital. About 3,000 acres of paddy cultivation in Kundrakpam Assembly constituency in Imphal East District are about to be destroyed due to inundation following the recent heavy rainfall. This has caused worries among the farmers. SDC of Sagolmang Nilamani and PRO of Speaker of Manipur Legislative Assembly and also MLA of Kundrakpam Assembly constituency T.H. Lokeshwar inspected the flooded paddy fields of Kaibi Kumda, Taret Kul, Lamboy Kul, Uyumpok, Nongsum, Wakong, Hararok, Sarauthel, Pangkam, Panglo, and fields in between Kundrakpam and Pangai. The excess water cannot be drained out as the canals have been swallowed and blocked, resulting in flooding of the surrounding fields. The farmers have appealed to the authorities' concern to extend maximum support. <laughs> A workshop on the context of keeping Reims Hospital cleaner and more hygienic was organized at the Jubilee Hall of the Institute today. Director of RIMS, Professor S. Rita Devi, Medical Superintendent Professor M. Amuba, Deputy Director Y. Rajendro and other officials attended the workshop held under the aegis of Ministry of Health and Family Welfare, Government of India. Director Professor Rita said that introduction of Kayakob program with the objective of keeping the hospitals and offices clean is a productive step taken up by the government of India and is largely beneficial to the people. MS Amuba also spoke on various measures being taken up to keep the hospital clean. The quota of PDS items meant for Thangmaiban Assembly constituency that have been blocked by the DSO of Consumers Affairs, Food and Public Distribution in Fall West was distributed to the consumers of the constituency through the agents today. The rise that was drawn after depositing the unnecessary amount by 35 agents had been stored in a godown located at Thangmaiban.
A large number of people, along with ex MLA of the constituency, K. H. Joy Kishan, today broke the lock of the go-down and handed over the rice to the agents. Joy Kishan said, the act of withholding the rice is nothing but petty politics indulged in by Congress considering the ominous prospect that they will not be able to face the upcoming election. Lady Bapali, the Congress government, I am not a big parasity. Makoi election to Tinabang, a Moro in the Kanbegi moon, the Prasagi, Kuri, Metsalaga Tamba Same, say Yamna, Mendata, we am not some Pangaba, Kuigi Mimasagi, Oiba, Wakaloni, Prasagi, Oiba Posida, Kuigi, Ezensina, deposit to the Nakui, custody legislature in Tondi Machine and Moishin to Pamisi, other than Masisi, Akui, Kuigi Yamga, Lena, the Pingariada, Lady Pesci. Sidden demonstration in support of the movement for ILPS spearheaded by JCLPS was held at Narimthong Market 2. Those who participated in the demonstration organized by Narimthong Mirapaibi held play cards that read as people should protect the indigenous people from the influx of outsiders, unleashing reign of terror on students stand condemned. Police personnel guilty of killing Robin Hood should be punished, etc. On the other hand, a sit-in demonstration was also staged by the local Merapai bees at Uripo Kumanthem Lekai. The demonstrators said the rulers should stand for the people and the people will follow them. Excesses of police cannot be tolerated, they said. Nongthombam Lairak Youth Development Organization and Nongthombam Lairak Meira Paibi staged a sit-in protest at Nongthombam Lairak demanding implementation of ILP system in Manipur today. Kumbi Apunba Nupi Loop Students of various schools and clubs from Kumbi areas held sit-in protests at different places and also formed human chain in support of the ILP movement today. They further took out a procession from Kumbi market to Ishing Chaibi. Students of Advanced Intermediate College and Advanced Public School Moirang Electricity Colony staged sit-in protest and formed human chain on the national highway today. They condemned the killing of the student and further demanded punishment of the police personnel responsible for the killing of student Sapam Robin Hood and draft a new bill approved by the people as early as before August 15. The residents and the Meira Paibis of Uripok Sorbol Thingye Lekai blocked road and stage sit-in protest at Uripok Sorbol Thingye Lekai today. Play cards that read as implement ILP system in Manipur, draft a new bill approved by the people were displayed. Meanwhile, Time Star Artist Union also staged a sit-in protest on the Governor Road in support of the series of agitations spearheaded by JCLPS. Play cards with slogans, implement ILP system in Manipur, punish the police personnel responsible for the killing of the student were held. Now let's take a look at the national and international news. Prime Minister Narendra Modi today greeted President Pranab Mukherjee on completion of three years in office and said the country has greatly benefited from his experience and wisdom. My congratulations to Rastrapati Ji as he completes three years in office. India has greatly benefited from his rich experience and wisdom, he tweeted. Mukherjee today completes three years in office during which he undertook 105 domestic visits. He also visited foreign countries like Vietnam, Bhutan, Finland, Norway, Sweden and Belarus. The highlight of the year was a visit to India by U.S. President Barack Obama as a chief guest at the Republic Day Parade. During the course of the third year, the President also received President Xi Jinping of China, President Tony Tan Kenyam of Singapore, and President Mohammad Ashraf Ghani of Afghanistan, among others. A fire broke out at a CRPF installation in the wee hours.
here today, killing a force personnel and damaging numerous official records and goods. Officials said the incident occurred about 3 a.m. when a fire was reported from the fourth floor of the electronic data processing EDP center of the force located in Arkipuram area of the national capital. Fire officials said seven tenders were rushed to the spot and the firefighting operation ended early morning. A Central Reserve Police Force CRPF head constable who was sleeping inside the building has been killed. Senior officials of the force have reached the spot for an assessment and enumeration of the damage, they said. Prime Minister Narendra Modi said in Patna today that the center will sanction more than the 50,000 crore economic package he had promised Bihar, but said he would not make that announcement today. I remember my promise and will fulfill it, he said. I had promised that Bihar will get special status. I had also promised 50,000 crore package to Bihar, Prime Minister Modi said. But I now realize that 50,000 crore is not enough. I will not announce it today. I will not only fulfill my promises, but go beyond them. After 14th Finance Commission, Bihar will get rupees 3.75 lakh crore, he said, pointing out that earlier the state had just got rupees 1.5 lakh crore. As Prime Minister Modi landed in Patna this morning, to power up his party's campaign, his BJP's chief rival, Chief Minister Nitish Kumar, threw him a challenge in comments loaded with sarcasm. This week, there have been a lot of geniuses in the news. From Yogendra Singh, the son of a rickshaw puller who got into IIM Lucknow, to 19-year-old Bridges who cleared the IIT advanced examinations. And now we have another genius, this time a 19-year-old math wizard. As a 19-year-old, Nishal Narayanan spotted the mistakes in a balance sheet of his dad's company and now he has become the youngest chartered accountant in the country at just 19. This child was just 8 when he passed several Sanskrit exams. These were not easy but equivalent to a master's degree. In a year, he began spotting errors in balance sheets. And at 10, he was the world memory champion among kids and had even authored volumes of books on mathematics. His mother, who has a PhD in Sanskrit, was the one who found out about his love for numbers. She, with the help of the Internet, found people across the world to mentor him on his math skills. Veteran mountaineer Nalini Sengupta is set to become the first Puneyat to have a Himalayan peak christened in her honor. Seksa Jaranin Sengupta, who has scaled several summits till now, was bestowed with his honor recently after trekkers of Jiripremi, a noted mountaineering institute in the city, conquered peak 5260 in the Hemta Pass region in Himalayas and decided to name it as Mount Nalini to salute her persistent efforts to inculcate mountaineering in youngsters since 1970. According to Umes Dirpe, coordinator of Jiripremi Mountaineering Institute, and leader of Jiripremi's Mount Everest expedition. Generally, the first team who summits a new virgin peak is granted the honor to name it. Till today, many teams have explored and conquered new mountains. They have named them after their favorite gods, local deities, and villages. China has voiced its grave concern and strong dissatisfaction over Japan's decision to host former Taiwan leader Li Tenhui, saying he is a spitist who opposes integration of Taiwan with mainland. Li Tenhui is a stubborn Taiwan spitist, Foreign Ministry spokesperson Liu Kang said in a statement yesterday. Despite stern representations from China, Japan assisted Li's visit and his involvement in Taiwan separatist activities, said Lu. The Taiwan issue concerns the core interest of China, he said, adding China is 
resolutely opposed to any individual trying to engage in Taiwan separatist activities in any form. China firmly opposes the practice of any country providing a political platform for the Taiwan spitist, he said. China considers Taiwan as part of the mainland and currently Beijing and Taipei are making efforts to bring about a political. Before we end the headline once again, All India pre-medical test and pre-dental test held in Manipur too. Latecomer candidates not allowed to enter examination hall. That's all we have for now. Thank you for watching.